hey everyone once again welcome back and today in this video we are going to set up our cron job on digital ocean right we are using the cloud server and let's get started so in the previous video we connected our ssh so if you don't know how to connect the ssh in the digital ocean so watch my previous video where you will learn that how to use this ssh okay now i'm logged in into my this ssh and my application contain two types of commands right let me go here and just click on this commands not pix clinician uh, node command this one contain this logic and then this one contain a similar logic without different to uh, mail right so here it's going to basically send us uh, the not fixed node to email right uh, which are above the 14 days right so it's uh, sending us the email so here when i'm configuring this that how to configure this cron job and uh, i run this uh, php artisan schedule run so it's failed right it's uh, uh, now this mark is done so before it was failed like you can see this here so now i want to tell you that uh, how you can debug this that why it's failed so then i move to the storage then go to this uh, logs like i'm going to do it here spin step by step here go to this uh visit your storage directory logs and there is a laravel dot log right so this contain that uh, what's the error came in your application right if you will make this empty and run your cron job so it's easier to find what's the now uh, what's the issue that your cron job is not working so it will log at the end of this file right so it will log everything that why it's not working so i uh, seen the error why it's not working because it's um, uh, basically it's going to uh, read this like uh, uh, my mail credentials are not working like env i'm using the email right and these configuration are not set because we copied this from uh, env.example file so that's why these uh, mail credentials was missed right so that's why it's throwing error that enable to uh, configure the authenticate the mail service right so then i know that what's the error then i uh, connected uh, my application with the mail account right which is going to uh, which is used to send the email right i connected this and then after this i tried this and it's working fine i'm going to run it again so how you can run this command so the php artisan let me clear the console for you maybe it's going on my camera okay so here you can say that to php artisan schedule hmm. <coughs> sorry guys we correct the schedule spelling uh, schedule it's a little bit hard for me to from to write the correct spelling of schedule click on this run and yes it says and yes done successfully it will send me an email and yes it's pop up a beautiful email query is received we are excited to have you back, back and these are the information here you can click on the login and login into the application right okay that's awesome here it's also contain this same link everything is working fine here i have uh, uh, this uh, design right let's uh, clear this out and now i'm going to show you this one is uh, we did this manually right we executed a command and it so uh, did this and by the way this command is uh, uh, here uh, executing every minute I added this for the demo purposes right if I go here in the kernel I'm executing this every minute for the testing purposes right and uh, I I want to uh, my client asked me to schedule this for the on the Monday right and then schedule at 8 a.m according to the american time so how i set up the american time so let's visit this config 
uh, slash app dot php here there is a time zone variable which is already defined as utc so if you are using in the pakistan so you type this asia slash karachi so it will uh, match with your pakistan time if you want the different time zones so you need to set up the time zone according to the country okay and now i'm i set up this uh, for the i set up this for monday and then specific time then you can set up the different day thursdays and then specific time here i'm setting this uh, for every minute now now question is how we can automate this so it's doing everything behind the scene we don't need to always run this uh, uh, run this command manually so how to do it so i'm going to now add this full path or even there is a documentation which is referencing this same right so i'm going to copy this and add this so uh, manually right uh, for example if i go here go to this add new clone job here we can add this from uh, this gui and we can uh, here reference our uh, file path i did this but still it's not working right so i'm going to use this advanced tab to add my overall stuff here so paste this out and here you need to add your path right and how to get the path uh, we already logged in as uh, in the ssh right so now i'm going to pull the pull my server uh, my this application path so just type this pwd so it will return the application path right so let's go here and simply copy this okay i copied this uh, just remove this uh, path to project and paste your path here right remove this extra slash um, slash public html then run and then to it so here i'm going to now uh, make this uh, save changes right so basically this will run the command every minute right because we added the star 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 so it's totally uh, represent that this command will be run every minute and this will send us an email so currently i'm not receiving any email and i have configured the cron right to, and it send us an email when this meet this uh, when this run when this command uh, this uh, schedule command right so let's uh, wait for a minute to uh, pass to complete this uh, time and let me mark this so one minute let me count this because um, it's very hard to count the seconds so i'm going to turn this on to make this and yes we got this right i got this email i'm now going to uh, delete this again right and to uh, rerun this uh, one minute duration again so we will get back again the okay let me hide my other informations okay so here uh, uh, it will send us an email after this one minute so in this way you can configure your application and it's uh, around to very near to this one and yes because we started this this one and we got this email right this one so in this way you can set up your cron job on the digital ocean right and here if you don't uh, want to send it every minute so you can check that uh, how we can uh, send this based on different time let me go there and refer you the exact documentation part which i'm talking about or even uh, here you can you know, go through it to no it's also not representing this <laughs> that sounds silly uh, okay i'll uh, just go here on the digital shion and uh, just detail so just go to the cron job here you can see this from the basic tab that if for every minute every five minute so this one is representing the uh, one minute one hour and if you uh, click on this once a week you can know that how you need to set the minute you need to type zero and uh, 
first you need to add zero then zero then add star then star and then zero uh, in the list to in the advanced tab right so in this way you will learn that how to configure this properly and still we got another mail that's awesome and uh, if you like the full series uh, so subscribe the channel and support if you want to support me on my mission to shoot the premium course free of cost subscribe the channel and share it with your friends who want to learn the laravel so in this way you can support me and others who don't afford the paid courses so i'll meet you in the next series so thank you very much bye bye